Hey guys, so it's time to compare the Samsung Galaxy S4 versus the Apple iPhone 5. Yes, this is going to be a nice little long review here where we'll be talking a lot and we'll be comparing a lot of things and we'll be doing a lot of things on these two devices. So, you know, these are two of the most, some of the most popular phones at the moment right now out on the market. I mean, I, I'm, I'm so ready uh, with my coffee again and I have like cookies and all that. So where should we begin? Well, we will begin, look at the price here, four factor, checking out the specs, try out different apps and stuff. And I will talk also about, you know, what I think about this, you know? So if we begin uh, checking out the price, uh, of course, the, um, the Samsung Galaxy S4 is Samsung's new flagship device for 2013. And we'll probably see a new iPhone coming out here either this summer or later. I don't think it's going to come out the new iPhone like 5S or iPhone 6 this summer. But we'll probably see it a little bit later there. Uh, so if we take a look at the price here in uh, the price by app, we can see that the price of an iPhone 5 uh, right now is between 500 to 600 pounds. Uh, while the price ranges uh, at around the same for the uh, the Samsung Galaxy S4. So uh, usually on iPhones they go, usually they are you know very good like an investment in, in terms of money. They usually don't go down that much in price. So, uh, you know, the price is really different. It, it's really different. In, in some places you can get the iPhone 5 uh, you know, ch you know, more expensive than for an S4. It really just depends on what kind of online store you do use. Uh, but if we continue on here, and uh, we'll be starting to look at the form factor here, of course. These are two very, very different devices in a lot of, a lot of different ways here. I'm just gonna see here, do I have brightness? Yes, I have brightness to be turned on to full here on both devices. So when I look at the devices like this, definitely the uh, the OMELED screen here from Samsung do look warmer uh, and you know more colorful and stuff. But I've heard that when you are outside, you know, in brightness and especially when you have a lot of white text and stuff, uh, the iPhone 5 has a brighter display. So the first thing you can see here is definitely that in the size, uh, the the Samsung Galaxy S4 it is bigger. Uh, it is a little bit bigger there. You can also see that the iPhone 5 here is a little bit thinner. Both have a hardware button, but of course the iPhone only has one uh, button here. Uh, while you get two capacitive touch buttons here also on the on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, they are both white, of course, they're well in different variants. And you can also see that it seems like the, the kind of the border here on the sides is a little bit you know, thinner uh, than it is on the, uh, the iPhone 5. Uh, the big difference here in screen size, of course, is that uh, the, the iPhone 5 comes with a four inch display bumping up from earlier iPhones that always been using 3.5 inch. Finally, Apple did bounce, bounce up you know, the screen size a little bit. Uh, so four inch, very very nice there with almost a 720p, uh, you know, IPS display here. But we'll talk a little bit more about the specs here uh, very soon. Uh, but it's good resolution, 300 pixels per inch. You won't have any problems whatsoever with it. Uh, with the Galaxy S4 over here, though, uh, we do have a high resolution 1080p screen, and it's also it's also uh, it's also is uh, you know five inch and it has the Super AMOLED display that actually looks a little bit more colorful than the earlier AMOLED screens, I think. So Samsung could have tweaked the, the, the screen a little bit, but it is 1920 times 1080p, uh, so you can see that you know difference there, and you will see that when you put it on here, it will be bigger, the new Samsung Galaxy S4. Also, when we look at them here from the sides, they look very, very identical. Uh, but really, really, uh, both these two are amazing displays. The IPS Plus display on the iPhone 5 has been upgraded from earlier iPhones, so this one is more vibrant. Uh, you have more colors than earlier generations. So, of course, that is very, very, very nice. If you take a look at, the, you know, on the right side here, we do have, of course, the, the power on button on the Galaxy S4. Well, we, do, we only have the, 
the tray here uh, for inserting your SIM card uh, in, in, on the iPhone 5. If you take a look at on the left side here, we do have volume up and down keys that it has a little bit more rounded off design here on the iPhone 5. And then you also have a mute switch here for audio. And then also here on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Huh, that was a phone somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. But uh, some phone over here uh, seems to be having a little bit low on battery. Uh, but you have volume up and down here, same, but you don't have a mute switch. And then also when we take a look at the device from the top side, uh, there we go, there we have the, uh, the iPhone 5 uh, power on button and uh, we do have the headphone jack here at the top on the S4. Uh, also, uh, speaking about the bottom, of course you have the micro USB port here for, uh, for both two devices here. And of course, the nice thing with the iPhone 5 here is that you can insert the, the cable uh, in whatever way. You also do have the speaker here also and also the headphone jack at the bottom on the iPhone. So that, that could be something that uh, you know some people do prefer the headphone jack at the bottom. I kind of do enjoy it on iPods because then I usually have this uh, the phone and iPod in my pocket and then when I put it into my pocket I want to put it in like this and then I don't want to bend the cable and then it's very very good that uh, the headphone jack is located at the bottom. But, but if I would go and talk to a guy in the streets or something I actually do believe that it could probably be a little bit better to have it on the top. Uh, of course, uh, ergonomically, uh, when you hold the device just like in your hand, it, you know, the iPhone definitely feels better uh, because, you know, it's so small. Uh, but, you know, in terms of using the device and stuff, if you want to see a lot of things, if you watch movies, if you play games, everything you kind of do with the device, uh, then definitely the, the S4's bigger display here will be a killer, kill, killer deal. And then also, uh, when we take a look at them here from the back side, uh, we can see here that Apple now is moving a little bit away from the full glass back, which I'm pretty happy with because this material here in the middle is not glass as on the earlier iPhones. But you do have a small piece of glass here at the bottom and also at the top. I kind of like that for you know design purposes. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, but it, it's better for durability, and I kind of like it because uh, you know I, I dropped my uh, my iPhone 4s and it did break uh, because it had a full glass back. Of course, it could probably be easier to replace when it's a full glass back than when you have a small piece here and a small piece here. What happens if this one breaks? I'm not really sure how you do replace that, it's probably a little bit harder. You can also see the 8 megapixel camera up here in the top with the flash. And they're very, very clever here from Apple that they didn't put the speaker at the bottom, but they did put it here. Uh, extremely nice because then when you play music and have it on the table, you will hear it loud and clear. Now, if you take a look at the, the Galaxy S4, we do have a speaker at the back side, which is bad when you have the device like this and play music and stuff. And then also we do have the, the uh, higher resolution camera, a 30 megapixel camera with the flash uh, underneath. We do have the Samsung branding there. And of course, Apple's branding is of course uh, the Apple and you know, iPhone. Uh, so um, uh, that is that. Something uh, that also I should say is that when you hold the device, definitely the, the S4, even though it, it is bigger, it feels lighter, uh, but it still feels very robust. Uh, and very very solid and it feels like an insanely awesome update since the, the S3 and the Note 2 because you have this bigger side just as it seems like they did copy a little bit of the iPhone uh, design there uh, that they do have bigger sides uh, that's not as rounded off and so this phone is also thinner than uh, you know the S3 and like the Note 2 but it has this bigger side that makes it also not just thinner and better like that but it's easier to you know tap on buttons. It's as easy as it's been on iPhone for a long time now. So that's of course it's extremely nice. Something here that's better though with the iPhone 5 is that it feels better because it has like metallic side, while it's kind of like a plastic side here on on the S uh, on the S4. So it definitely feels better and more exclusive. You know if you're just gonna feel it like this, it feels really really good and has a little bit of like a heavier weight to it. Uh, then the S4 so definitely and also you know the front side also feels a little bit better with like the glasses should be like Guru glass first generation 
uh, where you get the Gura Glass uh, third generation here on, on the S4. Uh, so it feels better, you know, definitely feels way more solid uh, than, you know, the, the S4 in, in terms of, you know, feeling when you hold it like this. Uh, but then also I should tell you that, you know, if you would drop the device in terms of durability with the new Gorilla Glass 3 here on the on the S4, I definitely, you know, I, and also the plastic back here, I would rather drop this one. I feel more secure if I would accidentally drop this one than an iPhone, okay? Uh, it really feels like this one would, you know, survive better. And also I think that one of the things why something did put a, you know, wider, uh, you know, form factor here on the sides could be because when a lot of people did accidentally drop their S4 or, or S3s and Note 2s and stuff, they usually did drop it on the sides and then it seems like it did break. So this one may be a little bit better in durability. I've been seeing tech cracks doing some, you know, hammer tests and videos like that, drop test. If you want to check out that, I uh, definitely recommend that you just go over to his YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash tech racks. And then also I should tell you that the, the home button at, you know, in the middle here is also a little bit wider than the earlier generation, which also makes it feel a little bit better. Uh, while of course Apple always been, you know, having their little bit more of a rounded off design there uh, at, at the bottom side. So, you know, there it, both phones are amazing. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say that one of these phones is horrible. They do share a, a lot of similarities, and I would say for durability, and you know, you want to have a bigger display in terms of form factor. You also do have some other sensors here. Uh, you know, you have a new like IR sensor, so you can use it like a remote control or something. I might do that to do a test like that in a video. They do have like a temp temperature sensor. You do have some other new cool technology like or NFC. I mean, of course, Apple iPhone haven't had that for a long t period of time because Apple works a little bit different. Uh, with you know how, how they use stuff so uh, you know interesting 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 so let's move on and let's check out some cool things here uh, with these phones uh, let's go talk about full specs so uh, where I live right now the the S the iPhone isn't like well in a 4G variant uh, the iPhone 5 is not well in a 4G variant but I do know that it, it is well bought in a different regions but the S4, uh, the S4 here, of course, this is an LTE phone. So with your carrier, that means like, uh, like two to three times faster speeds uh, while you're on the you're on the run and stuff. But, but of course, you need to be in an area which has support for 4G LTE. Uh, so if they could continue here on the specs, uh, uh, actually the. Uh, the, 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 the iPhone also is a little bit thinner, uh, both are around seven millimeters in thickness, uh, but the iPhone is a tiny, tiny bit thinner, which is not something that you probably will notice that much, but it's a nice feeling, definitely. It's, it's a nice feeling here on both uh, devices. So uh, if we continue, and also let's just tell you what one of the big things that I do like with the form factor of the S4 and you know, with a lot of Galaxy devices is that usually when I use the devices, I drop them like this and sometimes maybe not super, super careful. I feel very, very secure uh, with the plastic back. It really feels like it makes me more secure and more safe. While when I use the iPhone, usually I'm a little bit more careful and stuff. Uh, so um, that's interesting. Uh, so in terms of the display now, uh, you get the LED IPS uh, or LED backlit IPS LCD display here, of course, on the iPhone with almost uh, 720p resolution, four inch, of course, Google Glass first generation, I'm pretty sure, uh, but I've been testing it out versus the Galaxy S3 a lot, you know, with the knife, and uh, it's been, you know, working pretty good, actually. I haven't got, you know, I've been, you know, doing very, very hard on the display, and uh, it's been surviving actually kind of good. So that definitely could be something interesting to know there, that even though it's Google Glass first generation, it, it seems like it's pretty good. Uh, well, of course, on the, on the Galaxy S4, we do have the Super AMOLED screen, which is a little bit more vibrant, I'm pretty sure, you know, in movies and stuff, you will get, you know, more of a, more of a colorful experience. And you, you might argue that it feels a little bit more like real and stuff. It looks a little bit more real uh, on the iPhone 5, but I would say that most people, when they see the, the Galaxy S4, they will be a lot more happy. But two problem screen, uh, 1920 times 1080p resolution, so high res twice, you know, the S3 was 720p, same with the Note 2, so they're bumping that up to 1080p. 
you know, HD five inch screen. Uh, it has Google Glass three, uh, I think, or I mean, I'm pretty sure. At least it did say that on GSM Arena. Uh, that basically means that it has better protection uh, for scratches and things like that. So of course that is extremely, extremely good and useful feature. Uh, if we continue on here, of course, something that I didn't mention there when we talk about the form factor here on the, uh, on, on the Galaxy S3 here, in terms of storage and stuff, uh, you can actually remove the back here on the S4, which is good because then you can insert an SD card and expand your memory. Uh, there are SD cards up to 64 gigabyte, could be even bigger available now for the S4. Uh, plus, you, of course, you do have the internal storage. And also, when you remove the back, you can also, you know, replace the battery with the bigger one, and the, then you get a bigger case also. But, you know, if you want to expand the battery, then it, it's extremely nice. And also, if you would accidentally would drop the device in water or something, you can quickly take out the battery, and uh, you might actually, the phone might, uh, you know, survive. A, a water, you know, drop or something. Uh, well, you know, on the iPhone, it could be a little bit more dangerous because you can't take out the battery to let it dry. Uh, so that could be something uh, interesting there. But of course, these two phones are very, very high end. So they're well in, in the internal storage area, at least in 16 and 32. Uh, 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte variant, so you should have no problems whatsoever with that. Also, of course, as I said, there you do have some more ports or, or you know some sensors and stuff on the S4 compared to S3. Like you, you have this new IR port, you do have a temperature port and stuff, and you know NFC as we've been having earlier times also, so you can make mobile payments and you can transfer stuff with NFC to other phones. You, that's something that you don't have on the on the iPhone 5. You're a little bit more locked down there uh, with the iOS experience. Uh, in, in terms of camera, it really depends. I mean, like you do have a 30 megapixel camera here on the S4. You do have an 8 megapixel camera here on, on the Apple iPhone 5. But Apple has always been really good at, at cameras and stuff. And uh, you know, when, when I when I bring up the camera here, uh, it seems like they have extremely like warm and vibrant colors here when you take pictures. And I, I kind of like that. That's kind of like the Samsung's AMOLED display. I really do like that when, uh, but compared to the S3 or S4 here, uh, the S4 when you take pictures and stuff, it might be a little bit more realistic, but I kind of like, uh, you know, the, the iPhone 5's camera feature. So sure you get, you know, higher megapixel count there. And, uh, you know, I also did see some pictures uh, when they were taking uh, with the S4 versus the iPhone 5 that, you know, in, in dark, darkness, definitely the, the iPhone 5 could be better at you know focusing and taking pictures but of course uh, with the new flash and also in terms of video mode the, the kind of the sound uh, is it, more clear when you're talking in video mode than uh, with the iPhone 5's video mode and the, that, that kind of you know microphone so you know it kind of depends you, you can't really say that the S4 the camera is better in everything you know some some of the things then the the uh, the iPhone is better in you know, but also of course the you're a little bit more limited here on the on the iPhone 5's camera. You do have not super many settings, uh, you know, in the option tabs. You do have only grid grid and HDR video mode and panorama. But uh, you know some you know many people that use Apple uh, stuff they prefer the simplicity, and you know it's nothing weird with that. Uh, you know it's it's kind of um, uh, you know, people do know that, uh, you know, if you get too much choice, then people get confused. So that you only have three choices here in the options menu is something that a lot of people will enjoy because, uh, you know, uh, people won't use all the features anyways. Uh, but of course, you know, the, 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 uh, the S4 is better definitely when, if you want to have a lot of customizations here. Uh, if you want to have a ton of customizations, you can see here uh, with the 30 megapixel camera here. Uh, when we go here, you do have um, you do have uh, you know you have a ton of features. It, it's it's crazy. Uh, different modes here: auto mode, beauty face, best photo. Uh, if you really like to play around with stuff, uh, you know, see what's new and stuff. Because Samsung is really trying to step up the game with Android, latest version of Android is what you get with the the uh, the, the Alice S4. Uh, you know, you have a ton of features here. Uh, you do have, uh, you know, quick access here to another look. 
Uh, it's, it's just a ton of features in Android that you can get, but of course, you know, if you want to edit pictures and stuff uh, with the iPhone, uh, you can't, of course, use that. You do that in the stock app. But of course, there's so many good apps in the App Store, and that's something that Apple really is good at. You know, still today in the App Store, it's really like better than the Google Play Store that you get in Android. So. Of course, the S4 is having Android, the latest version of Android, 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, uh, versus the, the iPhone 5's iOS 6.1.3 that it currently use, and you still don't have any widgets in the, in the iPhone experience. Uh, so you only have, you know, apps. Apple is very much focused on apps, but you can't have cool widgets or like cool tweaks and hacks. Um, uh, on the iPhone 5 if you don't jailbreak. If you do jailbreak the iPhone 5 and you can't do that actually right now, you can get some cool widgets and hacks and tweaks. Uh, but in general, you know, usually when you jailbreak also you get a lot of problems. So I just switched back to not having a jailbreak on my iPhone 5 because, uh, you know, when I had a jailbreak, I had a lot of problems with, you know, some tweaks interfering with each other. Uh, and also the Spotify app did crash for me and it was like weird and stuff so I don't, I don't want to have problems uh, with my phone uh, so I did actually went back to to not be running there uh, with, uh, with the jailbreak so if we continue on now also you can say that the front facing cameras are 2 megapixel one here on the Galaxy S3 uh, Galaxy S4 of course uh, versus the iPhone 5's uh, 1.2 megapixel front facing camera uh, and the front facing camera could definitely be good when you do a lot of things. Uh, so, if you talk about the chipset that you get inside of these, you know, some of the heart and core features with the device, you get a QOCOM ABQ8064 chipset inside of the Galaxy S4 here. And, uh, and this is the European variant that's out right now, and it is the GT i9 i9505. I can go into the settings area here, and you can see about the device. You can see that I'm having the GTI 9505, and that one uh, doesn't have uh, what Samsung usually is going with the Exynos chipset. There's coming another variant of the S4 out, the octa core version, which has eight cores, uh, which <laughs> which is having that. So uh, if uh, so, this one is having the QoCom Snapdragon, uh, the QoCom APQ8064 Snapdragon 600 chipset, same as you get in the in the HTC's latest flagship device, the HTC One, uh, but it's higher clocked actually in the in the Galaxy S4, clocked at 1.9 gigahertz quad core uh, versus the the HTC One's uh, clocked at 1.7 gigahertz quad core. So no major difference there, but it's four cores, so dot two. Uh, gigahertz extra, uh, you know, in, in, in power there on each core. Well, of course, you get the Apple A6. Apple produced their own kind of chipset in, inside of the iPhone 5, the Apple A6 chipset, which is like a dual core. It is a dual core smartphone, it's a quad core smartphone, but you know, not, not everything is about the specs, it's about the performance, how, how the software. Uh, works together uh, with the hardware and Apple's really good at optimizing that so even though they are having a dual core like not as good specs they still have you know the same kind of performance here in you know when you're going in menus and stuff uh, like you would get on uh, on this little device so uh, you know Apple's a lot about software optimizations and they're really really good at that so the, the device is having like um, the iPhone 5 is having like 1.3 gigahertz uh, dual core or it could be quad core, uh, but I really think it's dual core. But Apple don't, don't, don't like to you know talk about that that much. If you talk about GPU though, you get the Power VR SGX five four three MP three uh, triple core GPU inside of the the iPhone five, which really is amazing. You know because app developers Apple work very close to app developers. So new games like Real Racing three, like Asphalt, and ton of ton of games runs amazing on the iPhone five, but of course, the bad thing with the iPhone 5 and a major downside for the iPhone 5 for me personally is that the phone is still too small to really fully be able to enjoy new games, uh, you know, like, like Real Racing because the screen is too small, 4 inch. I really think that's like 2 years behind what we should get right now on phones uh, because the screen is really, really important. and. Uh, uh, but the performance is amazing, definitely in games. You know, you don't have to worry. If you don't have to if, if you play a lot of games. You do like the size of the phone. You don't want to have any problems whatsoever 
definitely, definitely go with the iPhone 5 here. Uh, but then you also you get an amazing GPU here if you're a little bit more experimental here. You get the Adreno 320 GPU inside of the uh, Galaxy S4, which is the same GPU that you will get in the Nexus 4, but uh, w along with the very, very highly clocked uh, processor, that is, you know, as I said, quad core on, but 9 gigahertz, you will get amazing uh, performance in games like Asphalt 7 and more. So uh, if we continue now, also check out some other things like the battery is so much better also here in the S3 uh, in the S4. But of course, that's a you know a, a better display here, or more a higher resolution display, uh, which means that the phone will have to have a bigger battery. But it has the the, the iPhone 5 has a battery of 1440 milliamps, while you get the 2600 milliamps inside of the S4. And you can of course expand it if you uh, if, if Samsung releases an extended battery for the S4, and I also think that some third-party companies will do that. So maybe like a 3,500 milliamp battery inside of the S4 would that be nice? I think so. That would be amazing. Uh, well, I've heard a lot of people having problems with the battery um, on Apple's devices. You you know 1,400 1440 milliamps. Uh, that is a little bit on the, the downside, you know, you have to charge the device a lot, but uh, you know, you don't have a high, as high, high resolution display, you don't have any weird widgets or something, or you know, it's normal widgets, so of course, it won't draw too much power uh, from that, but uh, you know, it's still pretty cool and, you know, interesting to check out. So if you quickly check out the browser here, uh, Apple control a lot of the apps, you know, of course, in the iPhone 5, they have their own browser. And of course, Android or, or with uh, with Samsung, they of course have their own customized Android apps here. They have, they have you know, TouchWiz built upon the latest version of Android here. Uh, and also they've improved TouchWiz so much so I also might do a comparison, the S3, the old TouchWiz versus the new new TouchWiz. And of course, I think earlier, you know, uh, Samsung devices will get the latest TouchWiz also, maybe in a few months or so. Uh, but if we fire up the browser, let's see here. Something I have to say to you about Safari is that, you know, I, I use Apple computers uh, every single day. Uh, so I have a lot of experience with using the Safari browser and there's a lot of good things with the Safari browser. It could be extremely smooth and stuff, uh, but when I, when I use uh, my, my computer, uh, my, my, you know, my, my, my computers in my home, I don't use the Safari browser because it always crash for me when I use uh, like five tabs or five to ten tabs. I always use many tabs uh, with, the, with the, you know, my computers. And, uh, you know, it's not as good though, uh, you know, when you're doing that, but it's cool that you can zoom in and stuff. Extremely smooth in the Safari browser for MacBooks and stuff. Uh, but it is horrible when you are on YouTube and play a lot of Flash content because Apple computers really do doesn't like Flash, but, uh, you know, that, that's fading away very soon here. So, of course, the performance will kind of increase very, very, very soon. So the first thing, of course, you can see here is that you get so much more... Uh, you know, experience here uh, on on uh, on the Galaxy S4 because you don't have that menu uh, at the bottom here. Uh, you don't have a weird search widget here. You can just quickly search here in one area. Uh, what do I think? Well, uh, you know, of course, with phones, uh, the mobile experience, uh, the mobile smartphone, or you know, you know, websites that has a mobile view. Uh, of course, that will be recommended on the iPhone. Uh, because the screen is, you know, first of all, it's four inch. You do have this big stuff here at the bottom and it's a little bit, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend surfing full browser websites like this. Uh, I think that the mobile version like this is what pe most people will use. Uh, but I think that, you know, with, uh, you know, higher resolution displays, uh, like the Galaxy S4 here, uh, definitely I love the full, you know, full view here and the, you know, get, get the full kind of experience here. Of course, you don't have any problems whatsoever in the browser. Something I did notice though, that is a little bit annoying with, with the Galaxy S4 compared to earlier Galaxy devices is that I, I can't zoom in more uh, than what I, you know, earlier Galaxy devices I've been able to zoom in extremely much. I'm not sure if it has to do with the, the chipset that is having the QoCom chipset or something, or if it's a TouchWiz update, because I really want to be able to zoom in extremely, extremely closely. Uh, but of course, zooming in and you know going in and out shouldn't be any problems whatsoever. 
uh, you know, in terms of rendering and stuff. Uh, but I'll see if I can get the, the other Galaxy S4, the octa-core version, and see how that one performs. Uh, so let's see here how much we can zoom in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yes, we can zoom in a lot closer here on uh, on the iPhone 5. So I find that kind of annoying. Could it be that the, the screen is so high resolution? Or something, but I find it a little bit annoying. I, I really want to be able to zoom in like even more closer when I read stuff. Uh, but will it be a massive main or disadvantage? No, I don't believe so. Uh, so in terms of loading here, of course, uh, it wouldn't be fair, or I mean like maybe it would be fair, but um, I mean the 4G LTE here would definitely crush the iPhone 5 in my country because there is no iPhone 5 that's like an LTE variant. So that could be kind of fun to know. So if we continue here, uh, I'll already check out the camera. Uh, we can actually check out some quick little gaming here. I used to download Asphalt 7 here uh, on the iPhone 5. And of course, I already tried it on the S4 and, and it do run amazing. There we go. The iPhone finish up that quicker. What? Okay, there we go. So as you can see, this app is way quicker. A lot of apps is so much better in, in the Apple world with the App Store. Well, it did take a little bit longer here on the, on the S4. But then I definitely do believe that the experience gets a little bit, you know, horrible here on the small display. I find it very, very weird that Apple hasn't released a big iPhone, like a really big iPhone, like the Note iPhone. But of course the, the experience is insane. And uh, you get, you know, you get a high, high FPS here, maybe like 40, 50, 60 frames per second. That's extremely stable and the graphic just looks so outstanding, you know. Uh, you can't really crush this. You can't become better in terms of frames per second here. It really is, you know, an experience. And also if you have like an Apple TV, you can stream this to a TV or something or, you know, it's nice. Uh, but really... You know, this is impressive, this is insane, and of course this is probably not the heaviest game out there right now. I mean, like, we do have real racing and other games like that, uh, but still, it's, it's a game and it is extremely nice, impressive what Apple have done. So, if you just open up this game now, on the S4. So I can have the feel right now in the beginning that maybe FPS is around uh, 25 to like 30 FPS or something, but it's definitely higher you can feel. Even though you don't have any major problems here when you play the game, it is higher uh, on the iPhone 5. Uh, but you know, I would probably still play this game more uh, on, on, on the S4 than I would on the iPhone 5 because for me really uh, the big display is such a big thing for me that uh, I, I do appreciate so much more and it's more important for me. So I haven't had a, a single frame drop or anything, but you can see I feel that as I said the FPS is a little bit higher on the, on the iPhone 5. Uh, so if we continue on, uh, moving down the line here of things to do, 
Uh, so let's continue here. Let's do a quick benchmark test here with the single app that's available uh, on both platforms. And of course, that is the Geekbench program. Let's fire that up on both devices. And also, you know, just in terms of UI look, sometimes, uh, sometimes Android really is horrible, and they need to get developers to create even more beautiful apps. But they're getting there. So we're gonna score now three thousand two hundred eighteen on the Galaxy S four. Still waiting for the iPhone five. There we go. So almost twice the score here in, in this app. So, I mean, really the CPU is killer. Uh, the GPU could also maybe be a little bit better, uh, but it, it's a good, good spec device, definitely. Uh, so if we go out now and have a quick little look here in terms of reading and have a quick little look at that. So which one actually looks better? This is pretty interesting. I mean, like both these two devices have a, uh, have a different kind of tone of white. And I actually would say that it looks a little bit more white, like a real white color uh, on the iPhone 5 actually in terms of reading, but both look very, very good. Uh, definitely looks better than earlier, you know, Samsung Galaxy devices. And then also I can say that, you know, you know, you won't have any problems whatsoever with reading on any of these devices because this one is a smaller screen, uh, but have a high resolution 720p. This one is a bigger screen, but has a high resolution. So you won't have any, you know, pixel problems or anything. But, you know, in terms of reading there, uh, it definitely did look like it did look a little bit better on the iPhone 5. But then also I would say that in terms of color on, you know, phones here, you get this kind of frosty white uh, Galaxy S4. And the cool and interesting thing about that thing is that it actually looks, I think actually this one looks a little bit more like a real white color uh, than the iPhone 5's a little bit other, you know, white color here. Uh, so frosty white actually looks white, white, white more white uh, is like in, in that, you know, in that area. So which is the phone that you should buy? Well, you know, it, it comes down to um, a lot of things like, do you like freedom? And, uh, do you want simplicity? Are you already used to the uh, to the uh, Apple world? Like, do you, if you don't have Mac machines at home, it's pretty nice, you know, to have an, uh, to buy an iPhone because you know you won't have to think too much. You have iTunes; uh, it will stream easily. Also, if you have like an Apple TV, it's extremely nice. Also, in that kind of area, uh, if you are more that of that experimental guy, you like to you know experiment with new widgets and ways to be, you know to optimize. Uh, the way you work and you know your productive side and you know use like freedom you I mean like in Android world you can fully customize it and and you know you can get apps uh, from all over the place uh, <laughs> so uh, I mean it's a lot of things but I would say the big things big downsides here for uh, you know why uh, I would pick the Galaxy S4 and definitely my, my favorite here is, is you know the Galaxy S4 and I've been a Galaxy user for a long time and one of the main reasons is because it's it's bigger I like the big stuff it has widgets also it, you know it provides this like nice little look I'm, I'm tired of used apps 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 um, I have more freedom I can you know I can easily put on uh, videos and stuff like that on an SD card and put it into my Galaxy S4, it's a little bit harder to do that thing uh, in, in the iPhone world. Everything has to like go through iTunes or some weird stuff. I have a bigger battery also. It has some cool new sensors. Um, why would I pick the iPhone 5 though over, you know, if I would, uh, over the S4? Uh, definitely I would do it because it feels more exclusive. It's easier to manage with my Mac, you know, computers right now. Um, but I mean like the iPhone is, uh, I, I can't do it. But in terms of, you know, computers, I definitely do like the Mac world uh, a lot because of the apps. 
if you are an app lover, if you use like quality apps, you know, 100% quality, you always want quality apps, then the iPhone experience is probably better because apps used is most of the time, you know, uh, in the app store, that's where developers get better paid than in the Android world because in, in the Apple world, people love to pay for apps. Even I pay for apps in the Mac app store. Uh, so, you know, in quality of apps, you probably will get a better experience uh, with the iPhone 5. But there is, of course, a lot of awesome uh, apps also available for the, the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the Android world. And uh, I mean, of course, both these phones are up to date with latest version uh, of their uh, operating system, iOS with uh, like Android or <laughs> iOS 6.1.3. And then you get 4.2.2 gel uh, version of Android here in, in inside of, uh, of the, uh, the S4. And of course, Samsung is working hard, hard, hard on always up the, updating their, their custom skin here uh, on top of um, you know, on, on top of Android, their touch with skin, they've updated all the you know widgets, icons, and uh, you know some people might, might call it small things, but I actually do believe think that matter. That actually do show that they do care. They do want to improve their products, and also they have added you know more cool wallpapers, and also do like the settings area that they made it so much easier compared to earlier generation. Here you have a, a connection page, you have my device page, you have account page, you do have a more page. Uh, I really love Android because it always is something new, cool, and, and awesome, cool feature that they do update, uh, or you know, cool new thing that they are coming out with. So, uh, for me, you know, definitely I'm a Galaxy S4 guy, but you know, you can pick whatever you like. Uh, so you can also tell me your opinions down below in the comment section. Also, if you did like this video, please leave a like or you know something that would be extremely nice. Or you know, if you didn't like the video, uh, instead of dislike like in the video you can tell me why or you know just dislike it if you want but uh, I'm really trying to make these videos better and better and better and also if you want to see any future videos please let me know about that in the comment section down below and also if you want to check out the phones you can definitely do that in the description of this video and until next time you just have an awesome awesome perfect you know insanely good day and I'll see you all hopefully in the next video yes peace